Hi, I'm Mr. Simon, and in this video, we're going to look at how to draw a depreciation of the Australian dollar. So how to draw the currency going down in value. Now, I'm focusing on the Australian dollar because I live in Australia, do the Australian course, but the economic theory is identical for whatever currency you are dealing with because it's all based on the principles of demand and supply. Anyway, let's get into it. Make sure you've got your drawing and graphing equipment with you so we can look at a depreciation of the Australian dollar. Okay, so here we are. We're going to be drawing a depreciation of the Australian dollar. If we're looking at the Australian dollar going down in value, there are two situations that are going to cause it. So we're going to be looking at a decrease in demand or an increase in supply. So thinking about going back to the original graphs about demand and supply, think about, oh yeah, if there's a decrease in demand or an increase in supply, that that's going to lead to a decrease in price. And in these graphs, we're not looking at price or we are looking at price, but the price we're talking about is all about the value of the Aussie dollar. Okay, so let's start with the first situation, which will be a decrease in demand. <laughs> so on the axis, we've got Australian dollars in terms of US dollars, and it could be in terms of whatever currency you're looking at. And that this is really looking at the price element of the graph. If we go down here, the quantity of the Australian dollar, well, that's looking at the quantity element of the graph. So with point A, we've set up our market equilibrium. So with point A, we've set up our market equilibrium. We can see that point A corresponds to price equilibrium and quantity equilibrium. Now, because we are talking about currency in particular, what we could do is we could just give this a value. So we could say actually price equilibrium occurs at US 80 cents. That essentially the equilibrium in this market occurs where one Australian dollar gets you 80 US cents and that quantity equilibrium can just stay as QE, pretty hard to estimate. So what we're having a look at now is we need to think, okay, we're gonna shift the demand curve to cause a depreciation. So what I've done here is I've just shifted the demand curve to the left to show a decrease in demand for the Aussie dollar. So this normally would be P1, but in this situation we're thinking about, okay, so the price has gone down, the value of the Aussie dollar has gone down. So we might say that that is, so we might say that that has now become US 70 cents, that the value of the Australian dollar has depreciated. Okay, so we've looked at the shift from the from D to D1 and very helpful to draw these kind of arrows just to illustrate to the reader or the marker what you've done. Now, if we then think about the supply curve and we'll just get red here. So now we're thinking about the supply curve. If we're moving from A to B, what we're seeing is that actually the quantity has reduced. So what we've got from A to B here is a contraction in supply as the price goes down. So let's take this step by step. So what we saw first was that demand went from D to D1 and that is a decrease in demand for the Australian dollar. As a result, the value of the Australian dollar depreciates. Remember, we're talking about a depreciation. And then if we go here, looking in particular from A to B on the graph, so A to B on the graph, that the supply of Australian dollar contracts, sorry, the supply of the Australian dollar contracts, QE to Q1. 
And you might think, why is that the case? And what we're thinking about here is that at a lower Australian dollar, in particular here, where the Australian dollar is only getting you 70 cents US, less people want to sell the Australian dollar because they're going to get fewer American dollars in return. Uh, here, fewer American cents in return. So that explains why we've got the arrow going this way and we're seeing a contraction in supply. Okay, so that is a, de that is a depreciation of the Australian dollar caused by a decrease in demand. Now let's go the other situation. Okay, so our second situation in looking at this depreciation of the Australian dollar is caused by an increase in supply. So let's draw that here. Okay, so nothing new here. Uh, point A is our equilibrium and that equilibrium in this market occurs when uh, one Australian dollar gets us 80 US cents. So what we're looking at here is we're trying to demonstrate that depreciation of the dollar and we're focusing on the supply curve. Okay, so what we're seeing here is that we're going S to S1, demonstrated by the arrow. We're moving from A to B, and you can see that from A to B, that the value of the Australian dollar has gone down. From one Australian dollar getting you 80 US cents, now one Australian dollar gets you 70 US cents. Also interesting to note here that the quantity of Australian dollars has increased. We'll look at that in a sec. So what we're saying here is that from S to S1, the value of the Australian dollar falls, we're seeing a depreciation. So now let's focus on the demand curve. So if we go to the demand curve here, we can see that in the movement of A to B, that actually demand is going to expand. So that demand was QE, sorry, demand and supply were at QE, and now they're at Q1. So demand has expanded. And this kind of makes sense because at a lower price, are people going to want more or less Australian dollars? Probably more because they can buy them more cheaply. So this is what will happen. So again, when we see this uh, supply increase from S to S1, increase in supply, leads us to the depreciation. And then the demand for Australian dollars will expand because there will be greater demand for Aussie dollars at this lower value. And we can see that by QE moving to Q1 and this whole movement is evidenced in the movement from point A to point B. Okay, that is the depreciation of the Australian dollar.